start of our little staycation. My second favorite travel companion, second only to my husband. <laughs> I love this. Uh, this is a nice BB from Louis Vuitton. So I just got back in my car. I had to go in Starbucks and pick up my mobile. Yeah, I pick it up in the drive-thru, but the line was super long. There is literally nobody inside. So, yeah. I got a, um, it's like my healthy drink of choice. This is the Nitro Cold Brew with a little sweet cream and one pump of white mocha now i can do this with or without the white mocha um but you know if i'm feeling fancy i get one pump of white mocha it's still not very many calories with one, just one pump you know and i feel like it just really elevates the drink so yeah i get my butt out of here and go to work so um anyway I wanted to come on this morning. Happy Monday, by the way. <laughs> I wanted to come on this morning and um, talk to y'all because I showed y'all a few clips from the weekend, but I didn't talk really just because, like I was on my little staycation um, and I just felt like this is the time that I get to relax. I mean, it was only for like, a little bit over 24 hours so this was not like a long thing but it was kind of just nice for us to be able to get away um and just you know relax just think about I me mean, of course you still think about your kids but to not have to be like fully responsible for for them <laughs> for a little bit of time y'all it just it means the world i think that i never really knew how much of a disadvantage I was at by not living around my family. And honestly, if I had to do it all over again, I may have just moved back to where my family lives just to have help. Cause honestly, it's really, it is really tough to have kids and no family around because then you're only depending upon a babysitter and their availability or just, I trust our babysitter. Otherwise we would not have left them overnight. But I mean, I do, trust her but she's still a babysitter and it would be nice that if I could like leave them with my mom or something because not only would that be a time for us to have a break but it'll be a time for them to bond with their grandmother their only grandmother so I'm gonna just tell y'all that if you're young watching this video you're probably not but if you're young ish and um you know you're thinking about the future thinking about having some children just know that with no family around, it makes it difficult. Okay, tangent over. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we did have a really nice weekend. It was nice to be able to relax. Um, the hotel was nice and you know, it was pretty empty and we just drove. Um, we just pretty much stayed in our area. So about 40 minutes away from our house. I'm sorry, y'all, I can't control the sun. Um, so yeah. We didn't have to get on a plane or anything. I don't know that I necessarily feel comfortable getting on a plane anytime this year. <laughs> so that's probably not happening, but hopefully we'll get another one of these staycations. Maybe even with the kids, maybe not necessarily a staycation, but maybe we'll go to like Orlando or something or go to the beach um, with the kids and do a hotel just because like this summer, we had kind of planned on trying to do some road trips with the kids. They don't do that well with road trips, honestly, but we were trying, like our plans prior to COVID, um, we were gonna try to do some road trips with them and take them to maybe Disney World, um, but that didn't happen. So yeah, so we're thinking, well, I'm thinking maybe later, I don't know, within the next couple of weeks, maybe we can go to the beach or something. Even if it's after school starts, it might actually be better after school starts because the beaches will probably be empty, but maybe we can go to a beach not far from here and stay overnight at a hotel and just to be, you know, just to get away. So we'll see. But anyway, I hope y'all had a great weekend.
I got a couple minutes before I need to go inside. I did not do my eyebrows, so let me do those real quick. No makeup on because of the mask. You guys know the drill. One thing I did share with y'all while I was on my little staycation, I did film, I did start filming a week in my wardrobe, which I kind of discussed. And I just started it the Saturday while we were on our staycation. So I know at least I'll have about four outfits that y'all can see. <laughs> Because right after I told y'all about possibly starting that series, Noah's therapy got moved back home. And so I don't really, there's a lot of days I'm not really going anywhere. Whereas before I would have to take him to therapy almost every day. But now we don't really have that. So yeah, so I'm not really getting dressed some days or I'm just wearing, most of the time I'm just wearing workout clothes, honestly. So I kind of felt like it's okay to show you some workout clothes in a week in my wardrobe because like I want this to be like real life. This is what I wear. I'm not getting dressed up just to be on camera. This is not like a styling video. This is just like the everyday girl who takes pride in how she looks, but I'm, I don't overdo it, you know? Um, so I don't mind being some workout clothes in there, but I don't think y'all want to see a whole six seven days of me just wearing workout clothes my face looks really shiny today i don't know why uh -oh. so yeah anyway that's it i hope y'all are having a happy monday or whenever you see this and hopefully i have a good day at work i'm sure i will but anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Be safe. I've been wanting some champagne, so I had to go to the st store tonight. <clears throat> so I went ahead and picked this up. Never tried this brand, but I thought the bottle was pretty. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. It's blue. It is blue, blue. I like it. Well, I like the color of it. I haven't tasted it yet. Here we go. All right, moment of truth here. It's really good. Tastes like champagne, even though it's blue. <laughs> It's kind of like on the sweeter side to me. I'm not a like wine connoisseur or anything, but this to me tastes a little bit sweeter. Some champagnes taste more crisp, which is actually what I prefer, but this is actually not super cold either. So it may be that this tastes a little bit sweeter to me, but it is still really good. All right, so I'm about to sit down and have my glass and I'll probably just talk to y'all today. I'm so mad because I just realized I was working out and didn't have my watch tracker on. That is super aggravating. I know it still counts, but I like to be able to see it, you know.
Good morning, y'all. Happy, what's today? Wednesday? <laughs> um, so I am sitting in my office drinking a little glass of, this is a um, almond milk latte. Um, so I'm drinking this. I feel like I should have made it a little stronger today, but oh well. Um, it's still good. But yeah, I'm sitting in my office. I am, Noah's therapist just got here. So I figured I would just go ahead and sit here, drink my coffee, and then I am going to get started filming some videos. I wanna film two videos today um, because I should be able to have the time while he's in therapy, but I also have like some emails to respond to, um, like personal emails not youtube <laughs> like i do have a couple of youtube emails to respond to but like i'm not getting that many youtube emails but i have some personal stuff i need to do mainly to do at noah school and noah <laughs> um so i need to do that so i plan on doing that today and then i also need to at wash at least two loads of my clothes excuse me i would wash them now but i honestly don't feel like walking back up the stairs and noah just got started with his therapy today so I try not to interrupt. I try to stay away from where they are um, just because sometimes I feel like it throws them off if I'm continuously walking in and out of where they are. So I'll watch them probably like closer to halfway through his therapy. That way, you know, maybe he'll be eating a snack or something like that. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sit here and chill for probably like 15 minutes. Uh, it's been a nice morning because Nate, my husband took Chloe to school this morning, so I didn't have to leave the house. And me and Noah were able to just chill for longer after he got dressed and everything. Well, not chill. I mean, I was cleaning up, tidying up. No major cleaning, but just, you know, dishes and that kind of stuff. So my kids make a mess every single morning, like, without fail. So it's always something to clean up around this house. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. So yeah, I will check in with y'all later. This salad from Target, cilantro avocado salad. This is one of the pre-made salads, which I don't know. Sometimes I don't really like, but I have had this one before and it's pretty good. So I did, um, I don't really have anything else to eat. So that's what we're eating today. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me mix my stuff all up. Right, so this is what it looks like all mixed. They do give you these too, but I decided to forego them. Um, I just don't feel like eating them today. So, I just took a shower, and husband's watching the kids, and this is what I found on my counter. Literally, he literally leaves out apple juice or milk or whatever all the time, y'all. All the time. <laughs> I love my husband, but that is a pet peeve of mine. Luckily, it's only been like 10 minutes, but that's not the point. Anyway, happy Sunday. So, just took a midday shower because I've been out way too much with the kids today it's super hot and i needed to take a shower so did that and i washed my face and now i feel all like like i'm ready for like self-care sunday so i'm not getting ready to do much self-care now uh, i just wash my face in the shower but i use my watermelon cleanser um which makes me feel i don't know somewhat luxurious and then i put on my body cream and perfume i'm gonna insert a uh, clip right now to show y'all what I'm talking about. Use my St. Ives watermelon cleanser today. And then also my, um, the moisturizer to go along with it. Also am using my ginger souffle, which makes me feel like, like I'm in a spa. And let me show you the perfume I just sprayed. And then this is the perfume I'm wearing, the Aqua Allegoria Ginger Picante, which also makes me feel like I'm in a spa. It is somehow soothing while also being energizing. I love this perfume. All right, so I did that, so now I feel like all zen. And yeah, I'm getting ready to make myself some decaf iced coffee or either, probably a decaf iced latte. I think that's what I'm gonna make. So got my almond milk here. And I'm gonna make that real quick and I'll show it to y'all. I'm right here, Chloe. <laughs> and mommy's right here. I'm right here. 
Good. Yeah. Good. I want to get the apple. I get the apple. I want the apple. Okay, let me get you an apple. Let me finish making my coffee first, okay? Or start, and then I'll get you an apple. I absolutely hate when this thing is not full <laughs> like I don't even know why I use this because I literally go to the pantry almost every time I use it so that I can refill it <laughs> I got these two I know y'all talk you remember me talking about these uh, from what's the name of this brand crave coffee I talked about them in a regrets of faves and regrets video that I don't like them yeah these have been sitting there since then but I just I don't know I hate throwing food type things away <laughs> so yeah they'll be my backups in case i ever run out of coffee yeah see they'll just take they'll just sit on here until i finally just decide to let them go because nobody's drinking those all right milk is done again this is almond milk i do prefer cow's milk because it foams better and everything and it, it just tastes better but you know a nice little compromise. Baby, what am I doing over here spilling my coffee or my latte? See, pretty. Gonna use this. Wait, see, I made my cousin some coffee Wait, see, a few minutes ago, so right before I took a shower. So I just used my same spoon. Yeah, so that's my iced latte. And yeah, hopefully too. Oh, yeah. Husband on his way home picked up some more drink works things. So the these are little pots for the drink works machine. Sorry, my children are always loud. Okay, they don't get that from me. They get that from their grandma on their daddy's side, okay? But um yeah. Yeah, so he got me a margarita. And I've had these before. They're pretty good. And they're I don't find these to be weak. That was my concern. Like when we got this machine is that, you know, you're not really controlling it. Um, it makes the drink how it's supposed to based on the pod you put in there. But they actually turn out pretty good. I haven't had a bad drink from them. And then the other one he picked up is Old Fashioned, which is his favorite. Which I, this, I feel like is good that he uses the machine for this. Because when he used to make them at home, I feel like he, he just needs too many special ingredients. <laughs> To make but um yeah he likes this one <laughs> you should look at the other side that's where the camera is look over here <laughs> the that is the mole. Would you be kissing Tickle? Would you be kissing? Let mommy drink her coffee, please. Can mommy drink her coffee? Yeah. No. No. You, you didn't finish eating your apple. Can you finish eating your apple? So I wanted to show y'all these pants because these are my favorite loungewear pants. Um, they are so comfortable. They are tie-dye from Target. I've had them for probably about three, four months. Washed them countless times and they still feel like new. They're not stretched out. They're not discolored, even though they're light colored. And yeah, I really like them. So I figured I would share them. I actually think they're still available, but I don't know. They've been around a while at Target. So I figured I would go and share them now while they're still available. Um, in case you guys are interested, but they're super comfortable. I love them. My little shirt just says rose every day. It's super old, has a hole in it. Yeah, I don't ever look super cute at home, y'all. I never do. <laughs> but I like to look somewhat cute. Um, so yeah, it says rose every day and it's from Gap. And yeah, 
OOTD. I love these scissors. They are from Cutco. And you can take them apart. Kitchen scissors. Super cool. Pick this up for Noah. He has to have headphones for school, so I'm going to try these out probably at home to see how they work. It's like a little headband. Um, and then the ear pieces are like here on each side, so they're not exposed. And these are wireless. Let me try out this little homemade pizza. I used to make these a lot, uh, but I haven't done one in a while. So uh, using the Rouse homemade pizza sauce. I believe I used to use a different kind, but I don't remember which one. And then I know I've never used this flatbread. I know I've never used this particular flatbread. I usually use the ones called flat out, but they were high in the grocery, I mean, they were out in the grocery store. So I got these. Um, so yeah, that's the flatbread I'm using. And then I'm going to use the Tillamook Italian blend cheese and we'll put some pepperoni on. I'll show it to y'all when I get done. All right, so this is what we're looking like. This is the pan for my air fryer. Um, I'm gonna attempt to cook this in the air fryer, but <clears throat> air fryer, but other than the pepperoni, I also added some garlic powder, just a little bit. Yeah. Monday. I'm actually actually off today. So um, my husband and I are taking Noah to the zoo. He just finished his OT, his occupational therapy. And now we're getting ready to go to the zoo, which should be empty, I hope. Um, but we have our mask and the zoo, you know, it's more of a spread out place. So I feel comfortable taking him there. My husband actually took him there like a, um, last week and he said it was nice. So um, hopefully it'll be empty. I <laughs> uh, hope y'all are having a good Monday. Good the bear. Look at him. What is he doing? He's walking. He's walking. They're talking to each other. Yeah, the monkeys are talking. No. He's coming over here. Look, there's one. There's another one. There's another one. Look, here's a little one coming right here. Good job, baby. <laughs> there they are. There's another one. I realize it's <laughs> hey y'all so it is later uh on monday afternoon and y'all know how yesterday i was talking about self-care sunday right yeah i didn't really feel like doing the self-care stuff that i had planned like i was planning on that evening doing a mask on my face and doing my manicure and pedicure yeah i got lazy after the kids went down and i literally just sat on the couch and watched a movie with my husband but that was nice that was self-care too it was just time for us to relax and chill and hang out with him so anyway i said all that to say 
I just did my nails and my toes and I did gel on my toes for the very first time. But I wanted to share this new product with you all. Well, it's not a new company, but it's new to me. And they actually reached out to me and sent these to me. So thank you to the company, it's Nail Addict. Um, I will link their information down below. And I actually think you can get a percentage, I believe it's 30% off. Hopefully that's correct. <laughs> but I'll leave the percentage down below that you can get um, if you use my code. It's not an affiliate link. It's just, I guess, the way they track it. But if you use that coupon code, then you can definitely get some money off. So if you're interested in the in the Nail Addict products, definitely use that. Um, but like I said, they did send these to me. They did not give me a script or anything like that. They're not paying me. But um, I just wanted to share them with y'all because I just tried them for the first time. And I, I, like I said, this is my first time doing gel on my toes. And they actually came out pretty good. So let me show you the products. Let me fl flip y'all around real quick. All right, so they have quite a few products. And initially, when they asked me what products I wanted to try, I said I wanted like the base and the top and two colors um, and the remover. But they accidentally sent me this peel off. Um, this is the one that I did not request. But they sent it to me, and then when I told them, they um, they went ahead and sent out the one that I requested. So they told me I can just go ahead and keep this one anyway. So I went ahead and tried this on my toes. I'm honestly scared to do this on my nails, so I figured I'd try it on my toes. But basically what this is, is it's a base coat gel polish. All of this is gel. It's a base coat that will allow you to be able to peel it off, but it's still post supposed to last like the normal time a gel polish lasts. So for me, typically my gels last anywhere from a week and a half to two weeks. Even if I get them done at the salon, they still only last about two weeks. So yeah, so I wanna see how this works. If it works well, this would change the game <laughs> for gel manicures. The reason I never do them on my toes is because I don't wanna deal with soaking them off of my toes. So I'm hoping that this actually works and that my nails still hold up. So I'm really super excited to see what happens. Like I said, it looks good right now, but you know, I just did them. So, so that's that. And then they also sent me their regular base coat. So this is the base coat I used on my nails today. And then they sent me two colors. We'll show y'all those first. So the color, this color is my BF loves it. I put this on my toes and this is the creamy color on my nails. And I picked this color specifically, not only because I liked it, but because it was different than what I had in my collection as far as gel nail polishes go. And also, it is harder to get a light color correct in any polish. Um, now, part of that is technique, and part of that is the um, the formula of the polish. I just feel like you can see more flaws. Now, I will say that my nails do not look perfect, but they do look good. Like I never, they never look perfect. Period. <laughs> And they definitely don't look perfect when I use a uh, light color, but I feel like the, these apply pretty well. I just put lotion on, so I feel like they kind of dulled them. But um, I feel like it applied pretty well, and I'm pretty happy with how they came out. Don't critique my nails, y'all. I am not a professional, um, but I think they came out pretty well, and I'm happy with them. So I hope they hold up, and I hope they don't get dirty, because that's the other issue I have with light color nail polish. They also, um, the other one that they sent me is called Not A Shane, and this is a glitter. And I was actually gonna do the glitter on all of my nails, but I figured I should try both of them. So I just went ahead and did the glitter accent. I haven't done this in years, but I used to love doing this. Like literally all the time I would do this. So yeah, I'm bringing it back, okay. Um, my finger looks so weird without my ring on. But anyway, um, yeah. So this is what it looks like. And I really like this glitter because it is pretty opaque. I did not put any color underneath this. So yeah, so that's what it's looking like. And then of course they sent me the top coat. And I mean, it's a top coat guys. <laughs> I don't have anything to say good or bad about it. It didn't seem horrible. Like it didn't seem too thick and goopy. Um, but as of right now, I don't really have any comments on this because I'm just doing my nails. So I feel like the top coat does make a huge difference, but more so in how your nails wear, if that makes sense. And then um, they also sent me this. This is the remover. So I know I've mentioned another remover type product on my channel, and I wanted to see if this one works better, to be quite honest. So this is something that, you know, when you get ready to take your nail polish off, 
it helps you skip the soaking off part. So you basically would just file off the top layer, the top coat, and then you paint this on like a nail polish. You let it sit and then you should be able to easily push it off with like a cuticle pusher. So I won't, I didn't try this today, of course. Well, not of course. I had already removed my nail polish. So, oh well. But um, I will be trying this when it's time for me to take these off. They also sent this little card in the package and it just kind of talks about their company. And what I really like is that these nail polishes are vegan, nine free, meaning like free of nine chemicals um, that have shown to be harmful. And they are also cruelty free products. So if you are interested in that, then you definitely want to check these out. Now, as far as smell goes, um, all nail polishes to me have a smell, but I found that the only one that I could smell per se like when I was painting them was the base coat. The base coat definitely had a smell, but it wasn't horrible. But when I was polishing using the regular polish, I didn't smell anything. Like I'm used to smelling it. So, you know, maybe I'm just immune, but I honestly did not smell, it did not smell bad. It definitely didn't smell strong. So uh, if that's important to y'all, then maybe definitely check Nail Addict out. So thank you again to Nail Addict for sending those products to me. I am super happy with them so far. I cannot wait to see like how they hold up. And I would definitely update you guys on how they hold up. Um, so yeah, let me show you. I just got an Amazon package delivered. So we might as well open that on camera together. <laughs> so I got two little packages. These are just little small items. You'll see what they are. But since they got here and I was filming, I might as well share them with y'all. So this first one, let's see. Okay, so these are mask ear strap hooks. So that's what they look like. It comes in a pack of four, I believe, yeah. So these are supposed to be like little silicone straps, basically, that you can hook the mask on. So, like this. So I mainly got these for Noah, but also for my husband because um, working in healthcare, we have to wear our masks all day, every day at work. And for me, it doesn't bother me as much because where I work, there are times where I can take mine off when nobody sees me and I'm not around patients. Um, but also I don't work that many days in a row. So my husband, he works days in a row and 10 hour shifts just like I do. And so he said it's usually about like halfway through the third day or by the end of the second day of wearing the mask all day that it begins, like it irritates his ear. So I figured this would help him, but also it may help mask fit, fit Noah a little bit better. It might be easier for him. So basically this goes around your head. So if this is your head, this goes around here, or you can put it like at your neck. And then instead of hooking the loops onto your ears, you will hook them on these little balls or little knots or whatever. So you can pick which one fits you best. Um, so yeah, it's a pack of four and they are silicone and they actually feel like pretty soft and pliable. So I think they're gonna be comfortable. So yeah, we'll see if these work. And then the other thing that I, I'll link these down below, both of these products in case y'all are interested. Um, and then the other thing that I picked up <laughs> is these fragrance, uh, let's see if I can, For some reason they seem really hard to open, but these are fragrance like tester um, sticks, whatever they're called, tester strips. And I've taken these in and out of my cart so many times because I feel like it would be cool to have, but like, is it really necessary? Like right now I use my tested notes when I'm testing out fragrance, but I don't know. I felt like being a little fancy, so I went ahead and ordered them. Um, like I said, I've been taking them in and out of my cart, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get it. Since I like to do fragrance videos, this would make it easier for me to spray it without getting on my hand. Because sometimes with the post-it notes, because they're so small and they're square, you spray it and it gets on your hands. And then if you're smelling other fragrances, I feel like it kind of like disturbs that. So if I spray it on this on one end, then I don't have to worry about getting on my hand. That makes sense. So... Definitely unnecessary, but they were not expensive at all. So I think this is a pack of 100, and I'm pretty sure they were like, oh, actually, this is a pack of 200. I think they were like eight or $9, so yeah. That's my little Amazon haul. 
I am probably going to end this vlog here just because I don't know what else I'm going to be doing besides doing my face mask tonight. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. So I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you're having a great week. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.